What's up, guys? What's up? Welcome to Okala Arts and Entertainment Podcast. As always, we kick things off with a smile, as you could see right there, this beautiful lady next to me, Ms. Davida Randolph. And we're going to step into her role here at Howard Academy. But before that, of course, you know, we like to learn about how did this wonderful woman get to this point? We, we learned that... Um, you know, the, the, some dancing to place and stuff, and this wonderful space was a space to rehearse and all of that. So we'll we'll jump right in. Welcome. Back. Thank you for having me. Beautiful. Well, we want to say that we are blessed to receive her because just getting off of doing a wonderful event last Friday and busy, 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 busy. So, Miss Randolph. Are you born and raised here in Ocala? I am. Beautiful. So it's going to take a little while. So we don't have a whole lot of time because we need to let her get back to her job. But we'll try to get as much in as possible. So your upbringing in Ocala, um, what institution would you say would be that institution that inspired you to do what you're doing today, whatever school that is, or teacher? I went to the elementary, middle school, high school here in Marion County, but it was the after school activities. Okay, okay, okay. That instilled a lot of the things that I'm doing for the community today, more so um, Howard Academy. Oh, okay. Howard Academy. Um, one of the after-school activities that I did was part of the Ajay Youth Playmakers. Um, at that time, um, we had Miss Anderson, who was over that particular group, and it was like a playmakers deal. It oh. was it was dancing, it was acting, um, just learning a whole lot of stuff. But I also developed friendships, met friends, and. We did things for the community, and that was some of the things that helped instill in me things that I am doing now for the community, especially through the girls program here at Howard Academy that we have, and them giving back to the community. That's wonderful to learn about this after-school activity that more or less connected you to the arts to some extent. And that's beautiful. Um, so... You danced in this. So I was one of the dancers. (laughs) (laughs) I was more so one of the actors and singers. Okay. Um, There were those that had that talent to dance, and I was not one of them. Right, right, right. But I did have a knack for acting uh, and singing because I come from a musical background. My mom is a retired music teacher. Okay. And um, I was an all county, all state choral in high school and middle school. So. Wow. So you see the talent some somewhere in there when you see folks that are on this level in terms of their position Sometimes people don't understand what it took to get to that. They really don't. They don't know what feels you went through and who you learned from in order to achieve where you are. And so that flowed over into employment at Mad Dads of Greater Ocala. Who is this? Mad Dads of Greater Ocala. Okay. Um, The organization does not exist here in Marion County anymore. Right. But it was a nonprofit organization that was um, adamant of fighting against drugs and social disorder. Mm. Um, The Mad Dads meant men against destruction, defending against drugs and social disorder. And um, after I graduated from high school, my first real job was with them as a receptionist. Oh, okay. And it allowed me to work very heavily in the community, helping, you know, different individuals from people that were on drugs, um, youth that had gotten into trouble for the first time, helping them get their records expunged, hmm. mentoring program, tutoring program, everything that we have here, wow. mentoring, yes. tutoring, yes. Um, yes. all of that stuff that we have here, that was another stepping stone for me. And I was able to bring Ajayu in 
on some of the things that we did at Mad Dads. And they were able to travel with us to different, you know, conventions throughout the state to perform. Mm -hmm. So, you know, everything kind of like pulled together to bring me to this point. Wow. Mm -hmm. So from inception, mm -hmm. you basically, all of what you received, you brought with you. I brought with me. Wow. So, so you started off uh, uh, administrative stuff, and then what is the next step from there after the mad? Uh, after mad, then yeah. I, <laughs> I, I went on to work for um, the Marion Charter School. It was the first charter school here in Marion County. Mm. I worked there for 13 years as an administrative assistant. Right, right. I don't think that's where God wanted me to be. Right. Because even there, I was still in the community helping people mm -hmm. from that job. I mean, I was helping the parents, you know, if they needed assistance, you know, with finding a place to live, if they were homeless, if they needed mentoring for their kids because they were having trouble with them, yes. if they needed tutoring. I was still in that, com that community capacity. Mm -hmm. But... I don't think that's where I needed to be. I just worked there for 13 years to just to pay the bills. Right, right. Well, of course, you needed to get by because your travels is going to bring you to or come back to Howard Academy. It's going to circle back around to Howard Academy. Yes. And so after my tenure at Marion Charter School, I went on to work at Central Florida Community Action Agency, which was a little bit more back in the community because it was a um, organization that assisted people with paying their electric bills mm -hmm. and um, um, rent, help weather weather weatherizing their homes and so on and so forth. Yes. It wasn't what I wanted to do, but it got me back into the community to help people yes. because that's what my passion is, helping people. And then after that, I moved on to Ocala Housing Authority. And that is where I got the opportunity to really do what I do best. And that's helping people. And I was the, I started off as a intake specialist and over a few years graduated to the resident services manager, wow. which made, gave me hands on with the communities that we dealt with at Ocala Housing Authority, the public housing community. 